Shalom, shalom. Hope everybody's doing good today. Um, woke up this morning. It's nothing like having a good cup of coffee and getting into the Word. Amen. <clears throat> I got something that I want to share with you just briefly this morning. Psalms 101. King David said in verse 2 and 3, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. <clears throat> when without coming to me, I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside and they shall not cleave to me. <clears throat> What really caught my attention this morning was verse 3. He said, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. You know, I've often heard that the eyes are the gateway to the soul. What are we setting before us? What are we watching? I told Erica a while back that I understand why the preachers in the 50s condemned television when they first come out. They said it was a when I devil with his tail stuck in the wall. I believe that. There's nothing righteous on television. <clears throat> you know, when we begin to watch what the world is putting forth. When we begin to listen to the secular music, I'm realizing now it does something to you that's not good. It kind of desensitizes you to the truth. When you watch television <clears throat> and you see all the violence all the sexual sin. And when you listen to music, the secular music that promotes that, promotes that over the period of time, it causes your heart to be calloused. You don't become as sensitive to the truth as you normally would be. So I want to encourage you this morning, set no wicked thing before your eyes. Do not allow the words of the enemy, the adversary, to enter into your ears. Be very selective at what you watch and what you listen to. Because, you know, I believe that time as we know it is wrapping up rather quickly. And Jim Odom's desire is to enter into Yah's presence each day and remain there. To get addicted to his presence. To get addicted to his word. To let prayer and praise be what defines me. My heart is heavy this morning because I see the deception I see that people sitting in the church are being led to the slaughter and, and they have no clue to what's going on. But those of us who has had the honor and the privilege of being introduced to the Torah, the truth, those of us who have received it, let us cling to it. Let us cling to it. Let us abide in his word and let his word abide in us. The day's a new day. The day's the, his Sabbath. Start over. Bear fruits of repentance. Start over today and be blessed. Next time, shalom.